hey guys welcome back to my channel it's something minus me here so this is going to be my 25 pound down to three month video so i was excited when i got down to 25 pounds it has not been a easy road and the first three weeks has been the hardest the first thing that i wanted to talk about is eating now i started going to the gym let's see i think march 16th if i'm correct yes march 16th so february 3rd i started the diet and what happened was from february 3rd to march 16th i put myself on a six week plan of eating healthy now to eat healthy means no junk food no soda no sugars no starch um yeah things within that nature so what i did was i said you know between 21 and 30 days i'm going to take that time to eat and to start eliminating stuff so what you want to do for the 21 to 30 days is create a habit of not having the junk in order to proportion my stuff so if i had snacks and i buy like one bag of potato chips i will cut it in half and then i will make the serving sizes so if the serving size was like one bag i take that one bag and make it two if the serving size was 18 i take it and i make it what 36 so whatever the serving size is you should double it. all right so in the 21 to 30 days i actually did six weeks before i started going to the gym to make sure that i got the eating under control for me i can't eat get that under control and go to the gym at the same time it's kind of like i have to eat first get that under control and then within a 21 to 60 day period then start going to the gym so number one thing that has been helping me get through this gym journey is my hydroxy cut sx7 black onyx and this stuff here is amazing you guys heard me talk about this before now this gives me major energy i'm going to show you what the pill looks like it gives me major energy and i have energy all day it curves my appetite like crazy sometimes i'm not even hungry so this is what the pill looks like it's pretty big if you want to say so and um 80 pills come in here this was $70 at GNC I paid 60 because I'm a GNC member but you should definitely go in there they have something for everybody's budget and actually see what they have um, I would recommend a fat burner or appetite suppressant um, which will help you curb it out don't get on these, these machines and try to keep up with the person next to you no uh -uh, boo -boo. what you do is you you figure out the machine I would say get the fitness belt um it helps with sweating you do want to sweat you want to put your body in the motion of working out you want to be able to like shock your body so what i do to shock my body is i will walk on a treadmill right at 3.0 that's my my rest and stop 3.0 now if your rest and stop is 2.3 then your rest stop 2.3 <laughs> so mine is three now i worked the hard i worked very hard to get there so you work at you um walk at that three paced for five minutes then i go to 4.5 because now i'm jogging your girl be out of there right <laughs> then after about 40 seconds to a minute you want to bring it back down you want to walk again for two minutes and then you want to take it back up you want to shock your body so that your heart rate go up and then you start sweating i'll be in the gym sweating bullets you guys be seeing right okay so that's shocking your body you want the fitness belt for um sweating you want a meal plan if that works ideal around your schedule i don't do it because i'm not you know too keen on leftovers right then you want to prepare your mind and your body you want to be able to do both not at the same time do one then the next then you want to take your 21 to 30 days to cut your bad habits right that's where we at okay because this video is getting kind of long i don't want to lose you guys you need a laxative now Yes, you need a laxative, okay? You need to empty out all them toxins, okay? Now, I do a laxative three times a week. Now, do you need to do one? No. But, if I do a laxative on Monday, Tuesday morning, it's nasty. If I do a laxative on Wednesday, Thursday morning, semi-nasty. By the time I get to Saturday and I do one, it's liquid. Now, I do it like that because I want to keep constantly cleaning my body because the food that I eat is not organic, it's not freshly 
from the farms. Um, everything I eat, it can't be organic. I'm sorry. Like, I live in New York City. Like, it's too expensive to eat 100% clean. So, yes, I buy chicken. And we know that a lot of the chickens are swollen. Yes, they are. Sometimes I want to go to the butcher, but I can't afford the butcher. Now, I was watching Fearless Fat Girl, and she said water was, like, the hardest thing for her. And she had to start using water bottles and things of that nature. And I'm all for it. Like, the water bottles definitely helped me. And the one that you guys always see me get um, have is the Brita one. And I like this one because it has a filter inside. And I've showed this to you guys in one of my favorite videos. I think it was the March favorites or something. So, yeah, it has the filter inside. And this, this, and, um, this is amazing. And I'm going to tell you it's amazing because I put tap water in here and it tastes like smart water. Okay? Now, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration. But I like it because it's a sprout, has a cap on it, and I fill this up. I stick it in my freezer probably about 30 minutes before I leave, and then I go about my business. So I think having a water bottle will definitely help you drink water while you're at the gym. I usually drink the whole thing while I'm at the gym. I drink when I get from the gym. I drink before the gym. Yeah, because water will help um, eat the fat. So yeah, you definitely want water in your life. And I try to drink a gallon of water a day. What I do is buy those big liter waters. They're like really big, like this big. This big, right? <laughs> I usually buy those. And what I do is I just fill it up. And when it's done, I fill it back up. Uh, listen, you can't, don't be scared of tap water, okay? You let that bastard run for about 10 minutes. And then you drink it or you boil it. But listen, water is free. Some people can't even get clean water. But we pay for it. Buy your filter. Get you one of these cups. They ten dollars for two at like a nine nine cent store. I got it from a store called Lot Less. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you do want to treat yourself and don't be scared to have a cheat day. In the beginning, I was kind of like, oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to cheat because I want to be able to like just keep losing weight and whatever. And it doesn't work like that. You can't deprive yourself of anything. You definitely have to eat and eat it in moderation have yourself a cheat day maybe once a week until you get to the point where you no longer need the cheat day right um don't make cheat days habits yeah take it from me because this weekend yeah i had three cheat days and it ain't look too good on that scale so remember that the scale is not your only way of measuring your weight loss clothing how the clothing fit is um like a non-scale victory. One of you guys told me that. Woo -woo. You guys are so smart. <laughs> um, and cheat days are just that. They're cheat days, okay? They are not meant to last long. They are short period things. We have long-term goals, guys. So, yeah. Cheat one day and then wake up tomorrow as if you didn't cheat. Keep going. Keep pushing yourself. And don't worry about... Like, don't worry about the cheat day. Like, cheat and move on. You know, I had to learn that the hard way of not beating myself up. But what I can tell you is, losing weight is no fucking joke. And you have to stay on top of it. You have to do what you do. You have to just do it. You have to go in them gyms and you have to be the baddest fat bitch in there and now i'm telling you this because you you will get the looks from people as far as like oh she shouldn't be in here or oh look at her she fat she you know what i'm saying you will get those looks and you have to like overlook them you have to do whatever it is you want to do don't let these men and these little skinny bitches be looking at you like and you look the fuck back like what yeah i'm in here but my goal is not to be skinny. My goal is to be healthy, to get the PCOS under control. You know, like, you guys have to have a goal. And you have to go to this gym with that goal and not care about anybody and what they think. And you have to just do everything for you. Don't worry about, like, the people around you because everybody's going to have something to say when you start losing weight so you definitely have to keep yourself confined and you have to be powerful you have to know like 
this is the goal I have and everybody's going to have something to say and I don't care what they say because at the end of the day we get one body and one life to live and why not make it the healthiest body and the healthiest lifestyle and just continue to blossom and grow because the gym is hard but it's amazing the feeling is amazing the the hurt is a good hurt the <clears throat> when you see your body starting to change you will exactly know what I'm talking about it, it's nothing that anybody or nobody can say to you when that weight is dropping off like this and your body is shaping and you see the potential that it can have and you start building this life that you want only you can do it and nobody else so you have to know that what you're doing is the right thing and it's the best thing for you and you have to be happy and you have to just love yourself <sighs> so yeah I got one more thing to tell you guys. I got one more tip. And then I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> I know you're like, bitch, this shit 20 minutes. But, yeah, I got you. Because, listen, if I don't tell you the realness of this gym shit, or if I don't tell you the realness of eating and, and how you have to structure yourself and get built for this life, you're not going to want to do it. You're going to be in the point of doing something for, like, two weeks, and you're going to be like, fuck this shit, I can't do it no more. Like... You know, I know women who are bigger than me who's doing this shit. Like, you have to push yourself and motivate you yourself. Self-motivation is the best motivation. And I'm going to stand by that quote until I get to the weight that I want to be at. And my legs is going down. And my butt is sitting up. And my arms is getting smaller. And my face is getting smaller and my skin is getting clearer and I know this iPad is doing no justice to my skin right now but it's just amazing to know that all of my hard work is paying off and no matter what anybody say to me or what anybody thinks about me I am just a bad bitch <laughs> I'm just at the point in life where it's time to take care of me and Everybody else got to be put on the back burner right now because it's all about being healthier. And next year, when I hit 2016 with that bang, I want to be I want to be a new me. I want to be able to say my legs is not rubbing, my jeans is not tearing, my shirts is slouchier. I want to be able to feel good. Like I love who I am, and I love doing all of this fabulous stuff and it's never a front because I love who I am but you have to get tired of living that lifestyle where you're walking up the stairs and you can't breathe or you're walking up the stairs in the train station and you're like damn another flight now I walk up the stairs and I'm just like oh shit I'm upstairs already so put yourself in a position where being healthier is your main priority and it's no slacking it's 2015 we got to get it together but you guys know i'm here to back y'all up right we got it y'all mm -hmm. i should have been a beat uh beatboxer i can't beatbox but who the hell cares right <laughs> all right so this is the last thing i have to tell you guys and again if you have questions just leave them below in the comment section i try to touch on everything yeah all right so Along with the hydroxy cut, I take this only when I go to the gym, nothing else. So, yeah, this helps three times a week, and that's it. Again, it's 80 pills in here, and I think I'm at my last three weeks. So, and I split about a month with my mom. So, yeah, three times a week. I also take aloe vera, and this is like a laxative. It acts as a laxative. I can't speak today, guys. This acts as a laxative and it is amazing. Like you take this old, you take this in the morning and then literally within five minutes you um you have to use the bathroom. But it's a good thing because it just relieves that morning stool, you know. I take B12 vitamins and this is different from the ones I had before. The other one before was 25 hundred milligrams and it was time release so it kind of gave you the energy when you needed the the um to be upbeat and now this one is not like that this one is 500 milligrams which sucks but i didn't have the other one with me so i didn't remember but it's 500 milligrams you take it up to like five times a day and um it was 11 dollars. we bought two it was buy one get one and um i 
I'm not really a fan of these because I have to take them so many times a day. But I try to take at least two or three in the morning. And it helps a little bit. It probably would be better if I took them throughout the day. And I take the fossilic acid would hatch nothing which has nothing to do with this diet this is more for my ovaries and trying to build them up and get my body on the verge of you know just healthier eggs I guess so that's it that's all that I take that's all of my tips and I hope that this video wasn't like too long and overbearing for you guys but I hope that I gave you all the information that you guys needed and was looking for to be in this video. Um, so yeah. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my 25 pounds down. And if you did, thumbs up this video, like and share it. And yeah. It, it, it's hard to lose weight. I'm not going to lie to you. I might make it look easy. I might make it look fun. But... It's not fun, it's not easy, it's tiring, and yeah, I just can't wait to lose the second person that I have attached to this head because it's amazing to just lose the weight and to see it drop and gravity is a bitch because everything's just dropping and sagging and look at that, look at that, girl. So yes, I... I'm just, I'm just waiting for the day I can come on here and be like, guys, I actually made it. And believe me, I've made it. I've got to this point and I'm going to keep going. So if you're on this journey with me, thumbs up this video. If you're on this journey with me and you're on the journey, then click that link below to the weight loss group and join us and let me know how it's going. And... I'm here to motivate you and support you and be inspiring and I hope that um, I've helped you guys and I hope that I motivate you to continue when you're at your weakest moments. I hope that I'm here because I have weak moments also and you guys just pick me back up when I'm at my, my worst and I just thank you guys. So thanks for watching. I love you guys tons and I will see you guys in my next video. So bye.